on some form. You know, he's battled a little bit the last couple of years. He was really playing well three or four years ago and battled to swing a little bit. And nice to see him playing well. Yeah, right, a cup team. Beautiful. <laughs> he's another one that hits it long and high. He does. Great shot. You saw the twirl on all the way back. Russell Henley. Big strong fella, Jonathan Vegas. Heading down to Rio next week as well. Leaving himself an uphill birdie. Steve Stricker on the fourth. You'll have another Andrew Johnston. <laughs> he set up for fade. started left and it's fading back towards the center of the green. All right, back here at the fourth, Paul Casey. Excuse me, first hole, second shot for William McGirt. If he can make some early birdies, he'll certainly catch some attention. Off more than an hour before the final pairing, and McGirt in good position. Fourth hole, 195. Doesn't like it. And the putting surface, though. He's on the upper level, but wow. And speed of one. This will be very interesting. He throws a dart in there. There's a bit of rain coming down right now. Yeah, knocked it down a touch. Little <laughs> part threes out here, ball to scroll. Grace finds the putting surface, but we'll have a... The boys are going to be landing it. Let's move back to the first here, Nick, with Kepka. Short side. Back to one. Steep on that one. He doesn't miss hit many shots these days. Doesn't, you know, it's all about the right. Yeah, he starts at left trying to cut it back. Yeah. Good safe shot for the first hole, Nick. Yeah, I agree. I think it's. Yeah, first crooked one of the day. If his bad ones are 30 feet, he can uh, he can operate from there. Let's go to four. Jason Day. The six iron over that glassy pond. No wind at all. Oh, he loves to draw the ball. Good luck, Stenson, away from the flag, though. On the fifth, Jason Day is second. Not really dropping at all. On the tee at four, Jimmy Walker. And Walker will have that for birdie. 211 yards. 
Stenson at 7T. He trails by a shot. He drives it through the fairway into the rough. Even par so far, 11 under. See if we can get something going. Bringing this in a little lower than normal for an 8 iron for him. Cut back up in there, and that leaves him a good look at that putt. Time for everybody, doesn't he? Yeah, he's good that. To seven. On the tee. It's the tee shot that uh, gave him so much trouble in the second round, but seemed to turn his championship around. He really did. He made double here, but then responded. drift just short of the collar noise and impact we'll get to enjoy that Kepka with a nice tee shot at the night already today as we go back to the tee with Jimmy Walker Moving from right to left also puts this through the fairway. They're not. This hole has been really difficult all week long. And has the most difficult hole today, second overall, and he loses that left. And Stenson one shot back. He's walking and they're murmuring. Okay, all right. We're gonna get a good read on that one. It's at six, eight, and nine. Speaking of nine, face today is on the top. Oh, yeah, there we go. Is that the one? That's the one. Got it. Let's go to 12. Matsuyama bringing that. Long string of pars with the birdie at the 11th. Let's see how he backs it up here, Nick. Yeah, the flag's tucked on the right, and they cannot miss the green to the right. Fabulous shot. 214 yards. T, 211 yards. That's a six iron on its way, slightly downwind. Good line. Looks like a pretty good line. It just drips over that right bunker and leaves him about to 35 feet away. Yeah, that was Robert Strev, Gary, with a five iron, and uh, he's he's getting himself back in. He's starting to get a feel for the flow. Just you see him gripping it way down there, about five inches, and just peeled that right along the ground. Beautiful shot right there, about four feet away. That was woefully short there. Good old one. Perfect position here for his second from 159. Diva went almost as high as the ball, didn't it? That's an unusual miss for Stenson. Be well over at 12. Stenson doesn't want to pull another one here. He's going to need to watch that carefully, that right edge. Oh, was... mm. Chopped it up a little bit, comes up a good club. Five under. 2010 winner of the Wanamaker. You have been able to all week. Very high and a nice, nice line. Is it going to get no.
Save his He's got it well up in the breeze. Exactly what he did. Uh, I guess it kind of take that one. 13. And on the tee, here's Jason Day. Just another position shot here. Right lateral hazard and a bunker start at 289. That should get the job done as well. And that is just about where... 13. And Jason a little farther away than Stenson was a short time ago. 178 to the hole. This is a nine iron. He's hoping a bit where they're playing the seconds from, but quiet up at the green. Turn it over, but it hung out there to the right. Double bogey. He is probably just waving at the wind now. Ben Hine over there to the left, but he's five shots. Side of the golf ball, the biggest clump is on the front side. He must get this club on a little more vertical entry. 131. Himself smartly on the left side of the tee box, right hole, and never came out of his pre shot routine when all the ruckus at the previous hole with Jimmy Walker hitting the green. They go slump heavy hook there, and he is way on the other side of the green with heat. He takes it in the middle and tries to cut it. No, he's not. He's going to go right over there, kind of with Jason Day. That is a little closer than Jason Day, but it's about 44, 45 feet. I can see the top of the ball, Donnie. And that is all you'll see. Um, it's kind of a thick, wet bird's nest sort of lie. You can get it to that second fairway easily. Yeah, good solid strike. Yeah. He needed to go down at it, and he did. He needs a Jack Nicklaus finish. Jack finished birdie birdie here to win in 1980. He does today. Now down the fairway, just laying up. 306 total, so I would imagine something in the 200 yard range would give him a nice yardage for his third. He was swinging beautifully, Peter. Yeah, you could tell when a player has. Uh... Grace finds the putting surface, but we'll have a. The boys are going to be landing it. Let's move back to the first here, Nick, with Kepka. Short side. Steep on that one. He doesn't miss hit many shots these days. Doesn't, you know, it's all about the right. Yeah, he starts at left trying to cut it back. Yeah. Good safe shot for the front. Find some form. You know, he's battled a little bit the last couple of years. He was really playing well three or four years ago and battled the swing a little bit. And nice to see him playing well. Yeah, right, a cup team. Oh. <laughs> He's another one that hits it long and high. He did. Great shot. You saw the twirl. Gone all the way back. The Russell Henley. Four. Big strong fella, Jonathan Vegas. Heading down to Rio next week as well. Some early birdies. He'll certainly catch some attention. Off more than an hour before the final pairing and McGurk in good position. Four hole, 195. Doesn't like it. And the putting surface though. He's on the upper level, but wow. And speed of one. This will be very interesting. He throws a dart in there. Still a bit of rain coming down right now. Yeah, knocked it down a touch. 
The part threes out here, ball to scroll. Leading himself an uphill birdie. Steve Stricker on the fourth. You'll have another Andrew Johnston. set up for fade. He started left and it's fading back towards the center of the green. All right, back here at the fourth, Paul Casey. Excuse me, first hole, second shot for William McGirt. If he can make